Ha, no you're not. I'm gonna win. I wouldn't count on it, Shelby. Hey, Jim Bob, what's the matter? <sighs> Nothing, I'm just reading a book. Are you sure you don't wanna play? It's really fun. Yeah, come on, why don't you join us? All three of us can play video games together. You don't understand. I'm just not in the mood to play right now. I just want to read a book. After all, I did tell you that that game isn't my favorite. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, are, are you sure? Look, girls, I'm positive, okay? Really, I'm fine. Just read my book. Jim Bob, we know when you're upset. Why don't you tell us what's bothering you? Yeah, it'll make you feel better, and we'll be able to understand. No, you won't! <gasps> Jim Bob! Jim Bob, wait up! Why'd you girls follow me to my bedroom? Because you need to tell us what's wrong, Jim Bob. Yeah, how can we help you feel better if you don't tell us what's wrong? Don't turn this into another one of our fights. After all, we're best friends. Oh, you're probably right. I'm sorry. It's just really personal. Personal? What does that mean? It just means, you know, it's private and it means a whole lot to me. It's kind of a secret. Come on, we're your best friends, Jim Bob. You can tell us anything. We'll help you get through whatever you're sad about. Well, I guess you two are my best friends and you deserve to know. You see, during recess at school earlier, this guy came up to me. He was calling me really mean names and saying that I wasn't worthy for recess or the school, meaning that I didn't belong there. And he said that I didn't fit in and that I stood out so much and that I was alone and I was the only one who felt this way. And I was also the only one who wore a bow tie in school. Then he spat near me and left. I was really afraid of this guy, so I had to hide for the rest of recess. Oh, Jim Bob, don't you remember what we said to you about bullying? You have to stand up for yourself. It may be scary, but... I know that, but that's just not the thing that worries me. Well, what is worrying you then? I'm worried that he's right. I mean, I am the only guy in the school who wears a bow tie and makes bows. He also called me girly for it, which, I mean, you know, he's right about. And I feel like I'm just so alone, like I'm the only one who's sad, and that anyone else could handle something like this. They could just stand up to the bully or ignore them, but I can't. I'm just so worried about it, and I'm so worried about him, and I'm so scared, and I'm such a coward, and- Jim Bob, stop it! Knock it off now! You can't say those things about yourself! You're bullying yourself! But Karen, I'm so alone. I'm not worried about boys. I'm worried about them being right about me. And I'm worried about being alone. I just looked around and he wasn't bullying anyone else. In fact, he was being nice to other people. He was only rude to me. And I continued looking around and no one else was being bullied. No one else was sad. Everyone was having a great time, swinging on the swings, sliding down the slides. And everyone was having such a great time except for me. And I knew that he was right about me being alone. I really am the only one who feels this way. And I don't belong in this school. No, Jim Bob, that's not true. Jim Bob, tons of people around the world are being bullied. Actually, millions are. That's a lot of people. You're not alone. And you're not the only one who wears bow ties. I know it. We just haven't found anyone at our school who's being bullied. I think it's best if I'm just left alone right now, since I'm clearly, really, truly alone, no matter how many people are in the same room as me. I just, I just want to take a nap. Uh, okay, sure. You'll feel better after you take a nap. Come out when you're done, okay, Jim Bob?
What do you mean millions are being bullied, Karen? Looks like everyone's just fine to me. I guess I really am just alone. Karen, we've got to help Jim Bob. You're right, but I don't know how. He doesn't believe us when we tell him that he's not alone. Don't worry, the only way to make him believe us is if we give him proof. Proof? You mean proof that others are bullied too? Yeah, let's go find someone who's been bullied before. Okay, and then we can show Jim Bob that he's not the only one. Exactly, come on. Hi there. We're looking for bullied victims to interview. Are you being bullied? Uh, no, I'm not, sorry. Oh man. <sighs> Karen, what's wrong? Are you tired? <sighs> no, I'm just, I'm starting to lose hope. What do you mean by that? I don't believe in myself anymore. And I don't believe in Jim Bob anymore. I have no hope. No hope that things will get better for him? Yeah. We haven't been able to find any bully victims. Everyone's saying that they're really happy and that they don't have any enemies and that none of them are bullied. What if Jim Bob never believes us? and he thinks he's alone forever. You can't lose hope now. Otherwise, we'll never get Jim Bob to believe us. And he will truly always be alone. He won't have any more friends. We can't give up on him. We have to do this. We have to find someone who's been bullied. Come on, Karen. Do it for Jim Bob. Okay, I will. Thanks, Shelby. Atta girl. Come on, Karen. Um, hi. Hi there. We're looking for bullied victims to interview. Have you been bullied? So much. I've been bullied so much. Oh my goodness, are you okay? We're sorry. Yeah, we didn't mean to make you cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel like I'm the only one. Like I'm just alone. It seems like no one else is being bullied nowadays. At my school, when I look around, everyone is having a great time with their friends and playing and yelling and everyone's so happy but me. And I have no friends and I get bullied every day. <gasps> really? You do? Yeah, it's gotten pretty bad. Don't worry, you're not alone, and we're gonna prove it. Follow us! I'm not alone? Oh, Jim Bob! Wakey, wakey! Mm. Hmm? Oh, uh, hey girls. We have a surprise for you. Yeah, we're going to prove to you that you are not alone. Jim Bob, meet Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Jim Bob. Um, Karen and Shelby told me that you were being bullied too. Um, yeah, I was bullied earlier today. Me too. Wait, you're bullied too? I thought I was the only one. Me too. I thought I was gonna be alone forever. But your friends obviously proved me wrong. Thanks guys. You're the bestest friends ever. Yeah, thank you so much for showing me that I'm not the only one. I thought I would always be the only one bullied. Me too. Well, uh, maybe I'll visit sometime, Jim Bob. You guys are all really nice. Thanks, you're really nice too. It was great to meet you, Marcy. 
It was great to meet you too, Jim Bob. Well, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Hello everyone. It's Shelby. And Karen. And Jim Bob. So kids, what did we learn in today's episode of Fun Fun Fun? Say it with me, that you're never alone. Never think that you're the only one who's sad or mad. Because you're not. There are so many other people who are sad and mad and confused around the world just like you. So just remember, if you're ever feeling upset or you're being bullied, keep in mind that there are other people who are in the same boat as you. Don't ever think that you're alone and that you're the only one because you're not. There are lots of people who are suffering the same things you are. Maybe you just haven't found them yet. Stay tuned for episode 7 of Fun 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 Kids. We'll see you all next time. Bye! Because you're not.